Hello guys, welcome to Excel VBA series. Today we will learn about how to apply filter using VBA. So I have this data over here in which I have employees name, their department and their scores. So I have written a simple data set to make you understand how you can filter data using VBA. So let's write our simple macro by using VBA to sort this data. We want to filter this data with the department HR. So how we can do this with using VBA? So first we need to go to developer tab and here we will open Visual Basic. Now the Visual Basic is open, we can write our macro here. So we need to insert a module over here and then we're gonna write our macro so let's go to VBA and then let's delete this macro we don't uh, let's delete that module we don't need that and let's write over here so i have started a routine sub filter hr this is the name of the macro you can give any name you want and this is the end of the routine now we need to tell which range we want to filter and what we want to do so we want to filter the range from a1 till c6 so what we will do is we will go back to our developer tab and here we will write 6 t6 and then we need to apply auto filter and this underscore tells excel that code is not finished yet it's continued on the second line and then we need to give the field phase 2 means column 2 which is column B and then we have to provide criteria 1 which is HR so we want to filter the HR we can provide more criteria as well but first of all learn it simple and then we can go at once in it we have provided criteria 1 HR this will filter the range A1 till C6 and it will apply auto filter and then the field will be B2 and criteria will be HR now as you can see here this data now as soon as we run the code you can see it's filtered now now it says Alice HR and David HR and you can see these letter filter signs over here as well. So now you know how we applied filter using VBA code. If you go to macro now, you can see this macro over here. You can apply it anytime you want. Let's clear this by using VBA now. For example, we want to clear the filter using VBA. So go to develop the tab again then go to visual basic and insert a module again. Now we will write for the clear filter. So we started a routine and then insert and we said active sheet dot auto filter mode will be false you can use this macro anywhere to clear the filter so we set any active sheet which is open and the auto filter mode is equal to false if we do this true this will not do anything if we do false this means it will clear all the filters so if we, you can see now the filters are applied but when we run this code we got our data back so let's close this now if you go to macro you have clear filters so for example let's apply this one you will see your data is filtered but if you go to clear filters and run that one your data is back to normal without any filters so hopefully you understand how you can apply filter using vba and then how you can remove filter using vba as well this will be very useful when you are building small mini projects that we'll be doing in our next videos hopefully you liked this video if you liked this video click the like button and follow for more videos like this thanks for watching this video